Hi all and welcome to this week's bait demo and we're still on the topic of sardines for the pure reason it's sardine season it's probably the the only bait you should be using once the sardines are shown their little beaks or mouths um, and uh, make sure you get your hands on the freshest possible Natal sauce by far the best bait from sharks right down to any fish you're going to target except of course bronze bream you'll still catch on prawn your little rockfish but in most cases this will be your best bait. Now today I'm just going to show you a nice little neat fillet bait. When you get Natal sods fresh and they, they blast frozen, you'll see the skin is much tougher. Then you can fish fillet baits with the skin showing to the outside. But in general, I like making my fillet baits inside out. They make very neat fillet baits. And uh, with that smell and dirty water and clean water, they stay neat, but the smell just comes out better. With sardines, they've got a lot of oil. That's the smell. They've got a lot of blood, but only really in this area and along the backbone. You'll see it when we, when we cut them as we go along with bait, bait demo. So that's part of what you want in there. A lot of times when you're building big raggy baits and using sardine fillets, you'll mush the backbone into the meat as well as just extra blood. But a lot of oil in this. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use a, a 6 out trace. This is a nice little bait for, for most fish, for cob. Nice little sardine bait. Uh, but first things first, I want to put a bit of foam on my hook. Well, this should be fine. And that's where I use... That's where I use the toothpick. And I work that through as far as what I possibly can. And then I'm just going to clip it off. Like that. Right, now that's where you're going to fit your foam in. I'll make this a little bit shorter. Now look where I put that. Just at the start of the turn is where you want it. We're going to make the bait so that your hook is nice and proud and you actually hook the fish, you don't miss them. And this I'll tie with my bait cotton and I'll mention this every time because there's some guys that haven't watched the previous is the, for, for bait, best bait presentations you use the latex cotton and you get it in thin, medium and thick and that depends on the bait you want to tie. For your really small finesse bait you're going to use the thin for your medium edible and most of your baits the medium and for your shark your big mushy shark baits you can go to the to the thick if you want i use the medium and the light for or thin for everything really okay foam on the hook and why do we always tie foam it's not just for flotation yes it helps for movement to get your bait up but it creates the body for a neat bait. If you just try and mush that, or take a mushy, fleshy, meaty bait and try and put it on your hook and your line, it's not going to come as neat. It will be a lot more difficult. You want something to create the body for to to build on, and that's when. It, and then it makes it really easy. It's very simple. Okay. Now sardine, we normally cut in pieces like that. With sardine, the head's useless, okay? The, the gills and the blood and the heart all sit here. We don't really use the head, unless you want to build bigger, bulky baits, which we'll show you as well. You see there in the head, this little section here is where the gills, the blood, and the stuff sits. In here, if I cut it out a bit further, you'll see the heart sitting there. Now there's the other cut. Okay, for this particular bait, we'll use that later for some other baits. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Now cutting this, cut it right next to the backbone in a fillet. This side the same. I'm going to take the backbone out. And I fold it neatly open, like so. 
Dann mag und zu. So that's your cuttles. Then, still frozen, important to shape your bait. Let it be frozen. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting just a slit. Two thirds down, I'm not cutting right through. I just want this to be able to fold. Hook proud, which means the body of your bait sits on the back. You fold this on. Hold it with your hand, the heat of your hand will mold this. You start working your cotton. And as I mentioned before, you use your hand, the heat of your hand, to slowly defrost the outside, and that will shape your bait. And you just use the cotton to keep that shape intact. Use your fingers, bait slippy, slippery. <laughs> So you find eventually ways of doing this right. You can hold it in your finger, you'll see my trace is under tension. And that's how I get it to go all the way to the last bit here to make sure that it's tight as well. And I just finish it off with three turns, take it underneath. And guys, these are neat, very neat little sardine bait. Now after you've finished as well you can rub it a bit. That will hide the cotton even more. So when it hits the water you've got that flesh immediately creating a bit of an oil glow around your bait and just makes it look even more appetizing. I love the smell of this. Okay now once you've got your bait like this all right, and you decide, look, I want to go bigger. That's not big enough for me. That's when you start doing what we refer to as cutlets. And you see, in these, you'll have a bit of backbone, which then makes very very nice little add-ons which you'll start using to build this bait. Place it where you want it. And then the shaping starts by using your hand. Start molding this into your bait as part of Okay, and there you've got a nice fleshy sardine bait. You can mold it and mold it until it really gets to the neat shape you want it. It's already starting to sign for some nice blood. Now this is the best part, your belly part. Okay, and what we do, especially in the Eastern Cape, this is such a nice little bait that you'll stick on the back of this if you want at least to the, the bone in the front just want that out you'll open it up nicely and now we can really make this a neat little bloody bait lots of blood let's add it on to that And remember to keep your your bait in ratio with your hook. I'm just showing you guys how to bulk up, but this is still fine the size wise for the hook I'm using. And just continue using the cotton and your hand. Now you see you've got all those intestines there. And you start shaping this nicely. The idea is you want it fairly aerodynamic, so you want almost a teardrop shape. Guys, now why I bolt up on the one side is what I always talk about when you clip your sinker for distance. Now it will balance out. You see your bait 
is weighted to the one side so you'll hang your sinker on this side to kind of balance it because it's just off center your sinker when you hang it it will hang on the side so that will balance it nicely but look at that from a bloody bait point of view no fish will resist that nice bloody bait and guys that brings me to the end of our little mushy bloody bait we also call this a kind of a rugby ball bait you can build these in the size or the shape of a rugby ball this is more the teardrop one on the hook when we're using the dangles we actually tie it so it looks like a little baby rugby ball and you hang it underneath your hook but thank you for joining us and join us next week we will run through some more baits also thank you for subscribing your subscriptions gives us the opportunity to make more content on a more regular basis